For over 12 years, the mystery of the Jameson family has haunted investigators and online sleuths alike. And as we begin 2022, we are still no closer to finding out the truth. The Jameson family, comprised of 44-year-old Bobby, 40-year-old Sherry Lynn, and their six-year-old daughter, Madison, called Eufaula, Oklahoma, home. Life hadn't always been easy for the Jamesons, and in 2003, following a horrific car accident, Bobby would be left with severe and chronic back pain, making it difficult for him to hold down a job. Sherry Lynn suffered from bipolar disorder and depression, and found it hard to manage her condition, even with medication. The two battled their respective demons, but it ultimately took a toll on their marriage, straining the relationship and leading to odd behavior from the couple. In 2009, Cheryl Lynn attempted to take her own life, following the breakdown of her first marriage. In this marriage, Cheryl Lynn and her ex-husband had a child, Colton, who described his mother as very depressed and said that she acted strangely. Following the breakdown of the relationship, Colton opted to live with his father, leaving his mother to live with her new partner. Those around Bobby and Sherilyn couldn't help but notice the bizarre behavior that they were exhibiting. Sherilyn and one of her friends would conduct seances and dabble in witchcraft. At one point, Sherilyn believed that her black cat, or familiar, had been poisoned and took to writing in the local area three cats killed to date by people in this area. Witches did not like it when their cats were killed. This wasn't the only occult belief that Sherilyn held and Bobby and herself told their local pasture that they believed that their house was being haunted by a demonic entity and instead of consulting with local clergymen Bobby took it upon himself to buy a satanic bible and get ready to perform an exorcism himself. Was this a case of folie adieu, or were the Jamesons really being haunted by a dark and demonic presence? Either way, something prompted them to start looking for a new home, and in October of 2009, they packed their bags and headed into Oklahoma's San Juan Mountains to meet with a property owner about buying a 40 acre plot of land. Those in the Jamesons' lives were puzzled by this detail as neither of them had ever expressed interest in moving into San Juan Mountains and it appeared as a very impromptu decision. On October 8, 2009, Bobby, Sherilyn, and Madison packed up their truck left their Eufaula home and headed for San Juan Mountains. Days passed and nobody had seen or heard from the Jamesons, which didn't strike their family members as odd. Those in the local community knew that the Jamesons liked to keep to themselves, but did notice that their house was eerily silent. Madison had also recently been pulled out of school, and those who knew the Jamesons figured that they had gone on a short holiday and would be back anytime soon. It wasn't until their car was discovered in Lattimore County on October 17, 2009 that alarm bells began ringing. The Lattimore County Sheriff's Office attempted to locate the owners of the vehicle, but to no avail. ID, cards, wallets, phones, even the family dog, who was malnourished, all sat in the Jameson's car, completely untouched. After speaking to the Jameson's family members, the Lattimore County Sheriff's Office realized that nobody had seen or even heard from them since October 8, 2009. The abandoned car was now officially a crime scene, and the Jameson's were considered missing. Also inside the car, the sheriff's office found $32,000 in cash, 
suggesting that the Jamesons were planning on closing the deal that very day. The presence of this money ruled out a robbery as a motive for their bizarre disappearance. And the Lattimore County Sheriff's Office focused their efforts on locating the Jamesons as quickly as possible. As the days passed, there was still no sign of the Jamesons and the police began digging into every aspect of their personal lives to see if they had any reason to disappear. One bizarre thing to note is that at the time of their disappearance, the Jamesons were claiming disability benefits due to their conditions, and money was often a struggle for them. So this begs the question, how had they suddenly come up with $32,000? Along with the money, investigators also uncovered a long letter written by Cheryl Lynn addressed to Bobby detailing all the things that she despised about him and telling him that she wanted a divorce. The most disturbing clue found inside the Jameson's truck was found on Bobby's cell phone. During the forensic examination of its contents, officers found a photograph of six-year-old Madison who appears distressed and distraught. This photo has caused controversy with some people thinking that she looks distressed and some thinking that she looks happy and that the photo was just badly timed or caught the situation out of context. During the investigation, the sheriff's office uncovered a creepy piece of CCTV footage from October 8, 2009. The footage shows Sherilyn and Bobby loading up the truck in a trance-like state. The two moved back and forth between the house and the truck several times in bizarre movements. Sherilyn's and Bobby's movements almost look unnatural and the family are completely devoid of any emotion. In one shot, Sherilyn can be seen putting a brown briefcase into the vehicle and this was the only item that was unaccounted for along with her gun. Once the couple finished their bizarre routine of trips, they loaded into the car and drove off, never to be seen again. Despite exhaustive efforts by the Lattimore County Sheriff's Office, the search and rescue teams, and volunteers, no sign of the Jamesons was discovered during the initial search. Then in 2013, a shocking discovery blew the case wide open. On November 16, 2013, deer hunters in the Smokestack Hollow area of Panola Mountain made a horrific discovery. These hunters were well seasoned and used to discovering grizzly sites, but nothing could have prepared them for what they had found. Hidden in an isolated area were the human skeletal remains of two adults and one child. All that had been left by forging animals were their skulls, a few bones, and some items of clothing. The deer hunters ran to an area with cell phone service and immediately called the Lattimore County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office arrived at the scene and in the back of their minds, they knew what they had discovered, and it was now up to the Oklahoma Medical Examiner's Office to confirm that via testing. Through forensic, pathological, and anthropological testing, the medical examiner was able to conclude that the remains found in Smoke Shack Hollow were those of the Jamesons. Their remains had been found less than three miles from where their car had been abandoned and due to the state of the remains, a cause of death could not be determined. While this discovery answered the question of where were the Jamesons, it did little to help answer the question of what happened to the Jamesons. With their bodies now discovered, the Lattimore County Sheriff's Office found themselves with more questions than answers. For 12 years, this case has baffled investigators and in 2022, we still aren't sure what happened to the Jamesons. 
but with a resounding lack of evidence. All we can do is speculate. There are many theories in this case, and while some of them hold weight, others seem more like wild conspiracy theories that are just too wild to be true. The first theory is that the Jamesons were involved in the trafficking and use of meth. Sherilyn's mother claimed that the two had lost an alarming amount of weight prior to their disappearance. And online sleuths speculate that the $32,000 had come from the couple selling drugs. Is it possible that the Jamesons had gone out to the mountains that day to meet with a potential client and met with foul play? If that is the case, why wasn't the money stolen? After all, that is the main interest in their business relationship. The second theory is a little closer to home and ties to Bobby's family, more specifically, Bobby's father. Bob Sr. and the Jamesons had come to blows in the recent months and the situation had escalated so far that Bobby and Cheryl Lynn had taken out a protective order against Bob Sr. and had installed CCTV cameras. The father and son had fallen out over business dealings and Bob Sr. was known as a violent man. Bob Sr. had threatened to kill the couple on multiple occasions and had also apparently run Bobby over in 2008. While Bob Sr. was a violent and unpredictable man, he also had a solid alibi. Two months after the Jameson's disappearance, Bob Sr. passed away, and in the months before that, he was bedbound in a serious condition. He would have been physically unable to harm the Jamesons, but that doesn't rule out the possibility that he got someone else to do his dirty work for him. According to official reports, Bob Sr. is no longer a suspect, but that hasn't stopped online sleuths from speculating. The next theory circles back around to Sherilyn's involvement in witchcraft and the couple's claims that they had been haunted by a demonic spirit. Some in the community and online believe that Sherilyn and Bobby had become involved in a cult and that the money in the new land was somehow connected to that. Perhaps the family had worked themselves up into such a frenzy that they felt their only escape was to drive out to the mountains and find a new place to live. There has been little in the way of solid evidence put forward to support this theory and for that reason it simply remains a theory. The last plausible explanation is that the Jamesons vanished of their own volition, that either Bobby or Cheryl Lynn killed their family members before taking their own lives. In the months before the mysterious disappearance, their lives appeared to have been spiraling out of control. And while this motive is likely, it doesn't explain why they took a suitcase containing $32,000 to the middle of the mountains and chose a remote location to do it. Is it possible that one of them set up the property sale as a ruse to get their family in an isolated location where they were unable to run or fight back? Perhaps neither Sherilyn nor Bobby are to blame in that the person selling the land had lured them in only to swoop in and kill them. There are theories out there that suggest that the couple were involved in the use and sale of meth and perhaps they had crossed the wrong people or were targeted by an organized crime group for stepping on their toes. 12 years have passed without answers and investigators fear it may be 12 more before the truth is finally discovered. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Latimer County Sheriff's Office at 
That is all for this one. Thank you so much for listening. If you have a future story suggestion or would like to contact me directly, you can do so by sending me an email at creepyunsolvedmedia at gmail.com. I look forward to your comments below.